Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be talking about small glitch slash exploit that has grabbed my attention in recent days and involves you getting infinite durability on all your weapons and also crazy enchants such as fire aspect on your axe in Minecraft. Now, first of all, I would like to credit this YouTube channel for first introducing me to this whole topic in a really informative and entertaining way. Now, letting that aside, the main reason why I'm making this video is because I want to showcase this program that I made, which allows me to consistently perform this glitch whenever and wherever I want. Now, first of all, let's talk about how you can do this glitch legitimately. This glitch involves you swinging your weapon towards an entity and then switching to another slot on your hotbar. In doing so, the damage upon your durability on your main weapon will be cancelled and also something extra, which I'll just show you in a second. I'm going to give myself two new swords. As you can see, the swords have zero durability, meaning that if I hit a mob, then it's just going to break instantly. Now, if I do the glitch with this, and then I basically swing my sword and then switch to, for example, my hand, you're going to see that the damage inflicted on the mob will be the same as from the diamond sword, but my diamond sword will not break. So let's, let me show you this. As you can see, I still have my diamond sword, but I still managed to one-shot the sheep, therefore indicating that the damage from the sword worked, and also there was no damage upon the sword's durability. Now, it's not that bland. You can do something even more crazy with this. Let's say you have a wooden sword. Wooden swords cannot one-shot sheep. Diamond swords can. So let's actually do this glitch with the wooden sword that has a fire aspect too. I fucked it up. So now let's actually do this glitch with my diamond sword with zero durability and fire aspect wooden sword. As you can see, the sheep got one shot. I kept my diamond sword and the sheep died with fire as well since I got cooked mutton. Now, a little bit of clarification. If your second item that you switch to while, you're sw while you swing has durability, then the durability from that item will be damaged, just so you know. So now let me introduce you to the program that I made. In this program, I use Python, and as always, I used Windows API. The reason why I use Python and not C++ is because I wanted to practice using Tinkter and making really easy and really quick UIs for programs. So this is what I pulled. It's really shit, it looks really bad, but it does work and it works really efficiently. As you can see, does it fine. You have different delays, you can make it faster, you can make it easier. So now let me actually show you this in action. I'm going to throw this sword and it just works. Nothing more than that. You can also change the hotbar value using these buttons so that you can go to a different hotbar for preference, of course. So in this case, six hotbar. So I first go to the six hotbar and then press the key, which in this case is mouse four, which is what I set it to. And then it goes to the fifth slot and then goes back to the sixth one. I can have the delay. I can increase the delay to return to the sixth one, which makes it slower. I can make it really fast. really straightforward and easy now in order to get the idea how good this is we're just going to hop on pvp legacy just like we did in the previous video and i will maximize my screen so that you can have a great experience while i unfairly beat these people so as you can see we started the game this guy over here he doesn't know what's going on he has the sword yeah he sees the kit he feels crazy he, he doesn't really know what to do so, I'm just going to hit him. Look, he broke his sword. He does not have a sword. He cannot break anything since I disabled building on my kit. Meaning that he's all in my hands. Just like that. He's gonna swing at me. He's gonna break the sword. I'm going to kill him. Easy peasy. Well, as you saw from a little bit of gameplay, it is really fun to play with, especially when you can design your own custom kit. Now, about the code, there is one little thing that I want to talk about. It's the heart of the code, which enables me to actually do this exploit. 
yeah, you have so much shit. Yeah, you have the fucking UI and all that shit. But the whole heart of the code and all the brain stands over here in these few lines. I'm going to open up Paint. And I'm going to talk about how I got this working. Initially, the straightforward way, I would click. This is a click. Click my mouse, left, and then instantly move my hotbar to the next one. Now, this, this, this didn't work. The main reason is the delays. You must have a delay so that the presses register. So in order to fix this, I did a little bit of mixing around. By mixing around, first I need to explain one thing. A click, or when you press a key on your keyboard, can be split into two processes. Down, when you put the key or the button down, and the up, when you release it. That's how a click or a key down is defined as. Of course, there is a delay between the two. Without the delay, the click or the key down would not register. So let's actually redraw this. The straightforward method that I tried did not work how it looks like. So what I did to actually fix this, I mixed all these components together. Basically, click down and key down at the same time, separated by uh, a delay and then release each one of them with a little delay between these two because you can see click down keyboard down because dv flag is a zero and when dw flag is a zero it means that the keys gets pressed then have the delay then mouse event i release the mouse I sleep a little bit and then I release the keyboard button. I will link this down in the description with the source on my GitHub so that you can play around with it as well. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.